What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look, look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before I get going on my video, y'all smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications, and please go follow me on Twitter, at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And then live every Sunday morning with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Time, but let's get it popping, bro. Let's get into this video. And today, we got to talk about Earl Spence Jr. Man, he was asked again about this Terrence Crawford situation on the Zone Boxing Show, and he also put out a new promo video for his upcoming fight against Shadinis Ugas. Let's react to it all. Let's talk about it, um, and, and let's get it going, bro. So they asked him about the Terrence Crawford fight, and this is what Spence said verbatim. Quote for quote, no paraphrasing, no nothing. He said, I think it's a lot easier to be made. Obviously, I'm fighting for my third belt. Hopefully, we can get something on the table so we can fight for the fourth belt. I don't know what else we need to, we, we need to be talking about. Bro. All right? And if you Earl Spence, listen, bro. I don't want to hear shit about Keith Thurman. And I don't want to hear anything about Jerron Boutinis for you or Terrence Crawford. Now, I made a video on Tim Bradley about him and Jerron Boutinis. Him talking about Crawford just watches Jerron Boutinis. And that's cool. That's his opinion. I disagree with it. I think it's a great fight. And I don't like the notion of people saying Jerron Boutinis does nothing for Terrence Crawford or does nothing for Earl Spence. That's the shit that I'm against. But for both of these fighters, they got to fight each other after April 16th. Point blank period. End of discussion. Nothing else to talk about. But what I really want to focus on, bro, is like... So, here's what we have in the past month or so, right? I got Terrence Crawford giving an interview and saying, I know Spence wants to fight as bad as I do. It's some po polit politics shit going on. I know he's not ducking me. Then I got I got Earl Spence going into a local gym, a local fight here in Dallas and saying, after I get this third belt, y'all know I'm going for undisputed. I want to be undisputed. I'm going to get that fourth belt. Then I got the Earl Spence press conference. Then I got the Earl Spence press conference. At the press conference, they asked him about Terrence Crawford. He says, we'll see. We need to talk behind closed doors. And to my bad, my fault, I started talking about the shit publicly. We're going to talk behind closed doors. Boom. Then he goes on to the zone boxing show because he's basically doing a media run leading up to his fight against Shadinis Ugas. And he says this. I think it's a lot easier to be made. Obviously, I'm fighting for my third belt. Hopefully, we can get something on the table so we can fight for the fourth belt. So we got all of this. All very good signs, in my opinion. I like what I'm hearing from Terrence Bud Crawford. I like what I'm hearing from Earl Spence Jr. My message is for Al Heyman, Tim Smith. Make the fight, bro. That's my first message. Make the fight happen. You want to show that you care about boxing. You want to show that you care about making the best and biggest fights. You take that homegrown fighter that you built up, that you did a great job of turning into a star in Earl Spence, and you go get him the biggest fight of his career no matter what it takes. And I demand that as a boxing fan because I just watched you offer Canelo $100 million. I watched it, saw it with my own eyes. I watched you do everything you could for a fighter that was not committed to you, that's not loyal to you, that came in, got his bag, Dip the hell out on y'all ass. Y'all don't know if it, when slash if you'll ever see him again. Because guess what? If he decides that he going to go and do shit at 175, y'all ain't got no smoke for him at 175. All your smoke is at 168, and he already got all the belts. 
And he fighting Bivol and then coming back down to defend at 168 against Triple G. What if he fight Bivol, fight Triple G, and then say, man, I'm, I'm campaigning at 175. Y'all ain't got shit for him. But you know who you do got a future with? Terrence Crawford, if you can get him signed. You know who you do got a future with? Earl Spence Jr. Because they all fight at weight classes that you control to where you can make big fights. So you need to do these two brothers right. Get them the fight that they both asking for, and that's on Al Heyman, that's on the PBC, and that's on Tim Smith. Okay? That's my message to them. My message to Derrick James with the 700,000 pay-per-views that Spence and Sean Porter did. My message to Bernie the Boxer insulting Spence's personal life every time he get, he, he get a chance to. All right? My... My message to them is simple. Jamel Charlo talking about Crawford need to take less. Humble himself. Take less to get the fight with Earl Spence Jr. All of y'all. Jamel Charlo. Derek James. Crawford team members such as Bernie the Boxer. All you guys, right? Be quiet, bro. This from a real ass boxing fan to you. Be quiet, bro. Talking in the public and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to stunt on the other side. That shit... Makes the fight harder to get made, bro. And if you truly want the fight for your fighter like you claiming, like if you Derrick James, if you Jamel Charlo, you claiming Spence the man. You saying Spence going to watch Crawford. You got full faith in your fighter. If you really want the fight and you want to see your fighter shine like that, be quiet. If you burning the box of shit, Earl Spence don't stand a chance, right? He don't stand a chance. Ain't shit he can do with Bud. Nothing he can do with Bud, right? So shut up, bro. Stop insulting each other. Stop trying to stun on each other, all right? Because in doing that, you could potentially mess up the fight, bro, and drop the bag for the person that you, quote, unquote, supposed to support, supposed to be there for, supposed to be a team member for. Let these brothers talk behind closed doors. Let Al Heyman go do his damn job. Let everybody do their job and get this fight made because there's no reason, there's no excuse for this fight not to get made unless there's some unreasonable shit going on behind the scenes and hopefully that shit comes to the forefront so we can point the smoke in the direction that it deserves. If it belongs on Al Heyman because he don't want to put up the money, we smoking his ass. If it belongs on Earl Spence because he really been shucking and jiving and he ain't standing up to his word, then we smoking his ass. If it belongs on Terrence Crawford because he was clout chasing the whole time and he really didn't want the fight and he wouldn't accept the reasonable offer, we smoking his ass. Other than that, be quiet and let them work this shit out so we can get the fight we want as fight fans. Now, Earl Spence's little promo video that he just dropped. I ain't going to say much on it because you really don't know till they get in the fight. Here's what I do know. He in shape. He's disciplined. And he already on weight. That's the important shit. He's in shape. He looking disciplined and he looking sharp. No hesitation from the sparring clips that I saw. And he looked like he on weight. And he looked very strong. A lot stronger than he did leading up to his last couple of fights. He looked like he was in shape for the fight with Danny Garcia, but not this type of shape. He was in shape for the Sean Porter fight, but not this type of shape, not this strong. And one little nugget I want to drop for y'all, Regis Progre, go watch his fight he just had with Tyrone McKinnon. Now, Regis Progre does have his own strength and conditioning coach. But he used this fight to be fit is the name of the YouTube channel. I got to learn the gentleman's name because I want to be able to say his name so y'all can know who he is. But fight to be fit was used as Regis Progray's nutritionist. And I must say, he looked very, very vascular, in shape, muscular, stronger than I've seen him look at 140 in a long time. This fight to be fit gentleman is also the strength and conditioning coach and nutritionist for Earl Spence in this camp. And it looks like we'll see at the day of the weigh-in. Because that's when it's going to come out to fruition. How does he look in the weigh-in? And then the night of the fight. What does his rehydration look like? How strong is he going to look like a G.I. Joe? Strong, yoked, all of that shit. We'll see then. But so far, it looked like this nutritionist. Slash strength and conditioning coach. Has been working wonders. For Earl Spence Jr. I can't wait to see if that is indeed the case. Okay. So. The, the promo video, that's cool. That's good. You know, promote yourself. Promote the fight. Let everybody know you coming. 
looking good and all that shit from, a, uh, you know, in shape. That's good. That's good. It looks like he's been taking boxing serious this whole camp. And he looked very, very good like he was really in shape for the Manny Pacquiao fight too. So although we haven't seen him fight since the Danny Garcia fight because of injury, um, I'd say since that accident, he has rededicated himself and there's a chance that it could all come to fruition with an outstanding performance against Udinis Ugas. We're going to find out though. We're going to find out, though, because your Dennis Ugas ain't coming to play either. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction video you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Don't forget about our live show. We live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday morning is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I appreciate everybody watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here, y'all. Peace out.